Kemi Oluluyu challenges Okonjo. Iweala and Obi Ezekwesli says that Igbo girls remains the least educated in Nigeria. The popular United States trained medical journalist Dr. Kemi Oluyule has challenged former managing director of the world, Minister of Finance, Dr. Mrs. Ngozi Okonju Iweala, and the former Minister of Education, and bring back our girls co-convener, Dr. Mrs. Obi Ezekwesili, to, es to scale up their empowerment game as Igbo and the girls remains the least educated in Nigeria. The medical and investigative journalist made this statement through a verified Twitter handle. According to her, both women are getting too many appointments and are not giving back to their communities directly. According to what Kemi Oluluye said, she said that the southeastern girls still remain the least educated in Nigeria. Eze Kwesili and Okonjo Iwiala need to hear up their need to hear up their empowerment game. Too many appointments and not giving back directly to their communities. Although nobody knows the source of Kem Ululuye, who has recently been marking or making statements based on her opinion journalism. She is known to be the first person to have announced that a top figure in the presidency is gone. Although it later happened when the presidency announced the passing away of the former chief of staff of President Muhammad Buhari, that is Malam Abakiari, who died on complications of COVID-19. Also, she has been spreading rumors that Namdi Kanu, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran, is dead. Even when IPOP members have come out to attack her and even reply her that Namdi Kanu is alive and healthy, as she has been speaking through his Facebook and other social media platforms. But to the claim of Kemi that evil girls are least educated in Nigeria, I don't know a source, but a check of Google reveals that as of 2015, three out of the five southeastern states made it to the top 10 most educated states in Nigeria. Imo State even stands as the most educated state in Nigeria now. Everybody who knows Igbo can testify that girls in the East go to school while some of the Igbos join business at early stage, few immediately after secondary school. Maybe she does not know that Anambra State, where Obi Eze Kwesli came from, had most of the best secondary schools in Nigeria, according to the competitor or competition organized by the federal government last year. Even Abia, where Ngozi Okonju Iwala is married to, came top in terms of best WAYEK results last year. I'm sure that many people who understand the level girl child education in the Southeast will disagree with Kemi Oluluye. Thank you, viewers for listening to this news. This Kemi Oluluye has started again. She is a person, is some, is, she's someone that is so dumb. She doesn't know what she's, she's saying. According to what um, Nigerians, the comment of um, a, a Nigerian, one Nigerian says, a Nigerian man, he said that this Kemi Olulu needs, um, needs to be taken to a psychiatric home for a quick check because she has a brain um, a mis a mis disorder. That was what he, yeah, the, the, the guy said. Why? And the guy gave reasons why he said that. He said because she says what is not real. She says things that are not real. She says things because she wants to say them. Look at what he said about Nambi Kanu. He said Unamni Kanu died in 2019. And later she said, she came back and said, Unamni Kanu did not die, that she called a family family to confirm 
and you know, the, and Femi Fanny Kaude confirmed it and said that you know, the Kanu is still alive. The next day, she came out again that she was joking that she wasn't sure of saying, of telling the or telling Nigerians that you know, the Kanu um, is now alive or came back or something. Do you know? Can you see the reason why I said she has this uh, the man, the, 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 this guy that commented on the news I made, I did, said that Kemiluluye is not to be taken serious because she has brain tumor. Imagine that. Imagine that because the reason why they said that they insult her is because of the way she behaves, because of the things she says, the things that are not relevant. Do you know that this woman has been jailed before because of the sin of he lied against a, a prophet she taught everybody at the same when you say evil when you say things that are not real about someone the person lets go like Nnamdi Kanu not everybody can tolerate that look at the man he lied against the man by saying the man slept with uh, his church member now when the man got to hear that she was the one she, she aired it on his social media the to, to the extent that the news was going all over so the woman decided that for this woman to tarnish my image i would definitely do that first and tarnish an image she, she, she thinks she is a journalist and a popular one then i'll make sure i tarnish an Im image do you know that this prophet arrested her called for arrest and she was jailed because of this uh, uh, i'm not seeing something and she says it she says what is not real. Now, that, is it because Nabi Kanu is not, a, not someone that likes or wants to be, to, be, to be violent? He would have called for arrest as well for the kind of statement she made that Nabi Kanu died. Imagine that. She is so, 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 she so needs um, um, a medical help as far as I'm concerned. So, viewers, what is your take on this news? What is your take on what? Kemi Luluyi just said about evil girls and this popular women, Ngozi Nguyola and uh, Obi Ekwesili. If you have any comments on this, drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates.